Hello, um, I'm about one month on tea and I thought I'd do a video. I think the last video that I did was one week on tea. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of changes just in the last three weeks. Uh, I didn't really see much change in the first week and there's a lot more changes um, to report on now. And I don't feel like I need to list them all. I'll link to a Tumblr post. I'll link in the description of this video a Tumblr post that I wrote um, kind of mentioning all the changes that I've noticed and some reflection on those changes. But I just wanted to do a quick video right now um, to update you on where I'm at in terms of identity because I think as I've been beginning this journey um, of I don't even know beginning, okay? I, I, I talked about being on testosterone, I don't know, three years ago at least, maybe even longer. And then uh, over the summer, so about, I don't know, six months ago or less, I uh, was thinking about it more and more and just decided that now is the time that I needed to pursue this. And I thought you know, as I've been approaching this time of me starting tea in the past few months, I've been thinking, well, maybe, you know, I am, I had previously identified as genderqueer. And as I have been approaching this uh, physical transition, I've been realizing I didn't like that word as much um, personally. And I have been uh, identifying as non-binary trans, but with an understanding that that could change, that my sense of my, that I may decide to identify as F to M in a more um, binary sense than what I had previously thought possible for me. So just to clarify once more, I had I had felt like I was non-binary tra trans, um, but I was. I had an understanding the the issue of non-binary um, versus F to M could change um, and, and might change and I might desire to identify as a different name right now. My name is, everyone would assume it's a female name, just about everyone. And it's my given name, it's my birth name, it's my legal name. And that's the name I go by. And. I go by it now, and uh, I use whatever pronouns people want to use. I don't really have uh, a preference in that regard. I don't like being called lady. I don't like being called woman. But now that I've started testosterone, even that feeling has changed slightly. It somehow doesn't seem as bad to be called a woman or be called a lady because I know that there's something that reminds me that I'm not just cisgender female, um, which is a lot of my problem, that which was a lot of my problem with being called woman or lady or girl or something like that previously. So I found, if anything, going on testosterone has made me more comfortable with people assuming that I am female. Um, so I guess being on testosterone It's, I, it's still an exploratory time, so I don't really know, but I guess I had thought previously that I might want to identify as more male, and um, this first month of being on testosterone, I'm finding that um, that's definitely not true. Now again, who knows what's going to happen. Um, I do feel like this is definitely an exploratory time, and I'm needing to figure it out, and I'm needing to gauge how I'm feeling as things are going, and right now, People that I know don't have not responded with a, oh you seem different or you look different or you sound different. There's nothing like that happening for um, you know colleagues at work or something like that. Now, if I've had a conversation with them about me going on tea, then they want to have a conversation about um, you know am I calling you the right thing? Do you want to be called something different? And I just tell them um, I'm fine with whatever you want to call me. I just don't like these terms, woman, lady, um, things like that. 
so I don't want this to turn into a long video, but I have a tendency to do that. But um, the the what I really just wanted to communicate today was that for me, this idea of non-binariness is becoming more important uh, when I had previously thought that it might become less important. Um, and again, things are in flux, and I don't know how it's going to be, but. But for me, being on testosterone, having these changes that I'm noticing uh, makes me, I guess, feel more confident in my non-binariness, uh, makes me feel more confident in my, m more so, my non-cisgenderness. And so I feel more comfortable if people assume me to be female when before I had not felt really comfortable with that. But even before, you know, I was fine with she pronouns and with my name. And I feel less strongly about pronouns. Uh, I feel less strongly about she pronouns now. Um, I kind of wonder if I might move towards they or them. Not really sure. But I feel pretty strongly about my name right now. I had an incident where a friend called me by the Basically, they dropped the A on my name, on my first name, which made it a more stereotypically masculine name, and I just didn't like it at all and was offended. Uh, and I don't blame this friend. It's possible that they they just like typed it out wrong or something like that. But that realization of me being so unhappy that someone might think that my name has some bearing on my gender um, made me realize that I, I, I feel I feel strongly about my name right now. So I'm keeping my name. Which is confusing for people to be like, oh, you're going to testosterone, but should I call you something different now? Do you want your name to change? And I have to say no. Um, so it's confusing for people, and I, I need to, I think, remind myself to be more patient um, if anything comes up, but that's what's going on right now. Uh, about changes, too. I mentioned this in my Tumblr post, but um, I don't like all of the changes that are happening. Some of them I really like, some of them I like, some of them I feel neutral about, um, and others I don't feel really good about. Uh, and I think that's just the way it goes, so I'm trying to be mindful of how I'm feeling every day, every week. I met up with a friend who also is um, non-binary in some regard. I think they identify as genderqueer. And I told them that I, you know, I'm just trying to be more, not more, I'm trying to be very present uh, in how I'm feeling and keep reminding myself that I don't have to be on T forever. If anything becomes uncomfortable, I can just stop and it will still have been worth it to me because of some of the changes that I'm seeing and because of this experience. I just feel like I needed this experience and I need this experience right now. Uh, and this friend reminded me, you know, I think the same thing every single week. So I think basically every single time that they went to go take the shot, they think, this could be the last week. And I think for for those of us who do not identify really strongly as um, whatever gender is so often associated with whatever hormones we're taking or blockers that we're using, and so in my case, because I don't feel really strongly as male, I think it's important to realize that going on tea is an exploratory process and that you don't have to feel like this is something that you have to, you know, prove something to yourself by staying on it for a certain length of time or to have to stay on it forever. And so I'm reminding that, um, I'm reminding myself of that and I think that's comforting to me as I go through this process. So it's an exciting time. I feel pretty vulnerable now that my voice is changing slightly. Um, it feels and sounds very different inside my head, and every day or two it sounds different than it did before. And my voice is one of those things where I... I kind of, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being I hate this and I want it to go away, these changes I hate 
the changes and I, and I want the changes to go away versus 10 being like this is so exciting and I love this I kind of alternate between 4 and 6 4, 5, and 6 that's kind of where I'm at where it's like I feel neutral about it I feel slightly negative about it I feel slightly positive about it so right now that's kind of where I'm hovering um, but my voice more than any other part about me is just signaling to other people so so I think um, I need to deal with some of um, some family issues basically I haven't come out to um, any of the family that I mentioned that I was going to come out to in November I haven't I have not done that yet so I think if I deal with that that may make, make me feel better about my voice and um, if I just go through a couple more experiences of coming out to people at work I think I would feel better about that and and maybe no one is going to say anything to me. I don't feel like it's my obligation to go up to people at work and say, oh, maybe you notice my voice has changed. But if it ever comes up, I, I'm willing to talk about it. I, um, and I think that would be good for me to make me feel um, less vulnerable about these changes. But it's, it's, it's a weird time. It's a weird time, um, but it's a good time. And I'm thankful for the process. I'm thankful for therapy, which... Um, because I've worked with a therapist not just based on gender stuff but based on you know things years ago it's helpful to have that continuity so that we can kind of come back to some of these issues and, and I don't lose track of things that I want to be mindful of so that's what's going on if you hear a weird sound it's the heater turning on um, okay so 12 minutes is probably enough so thanks for watching thanks for being here with me and uh, I'll catch you next time.